All right, hello. Um, I'm going to try to do this video extremely quickly. We're doing Madonna, American Pie decode. Why am I doing American Pie? Because American Pie, I believe, is fairly loaded. The song by the original song by um, Don McLean. Um, I've waffled on about it in previous videos. You know, it's one of those things. It's the it's the song with the the levee was dry in it. Okay, if there was a song that referenced the dam. It's a good one to reference the the dam going dry, okay? So, um, hmm, where to even start with this? Just the fact it's called American Pie, and we've been dealing with numbers of the mathematical version of Pi, the Greek symbol, okay? And <laughs> other things to do with the Pi, like the the dartboard. Um, I, it's just loaded, you know. So where do I want to go with this video? We just I'm going to go through it and I'm going to I'm going to pick out several bits because it's kind of a re a reoccurring theme all the way through this the numbers that show up. Um, so we'll just start at the beginning and we will we'll move on straight away. We've got the American flag here, right? Again, this is the fiction right here. This is the cloth that's draped between the twin towers here. Here's the twin towers. We've got these A-frames holding this thing up, man on wire style. And, you know, an A is one and an A is one. We've got a one, one here. And this is the thing we're all trapped in, you know, this idea. Um, this is the reason probably why this has got bars going across it, <laughs> you know, to symbolize that. Um, what do I what do I really want to say about the whole concept the whole concept of this right this was created to um, come out of the matrix originally yeah to get away from the crown from the from the royal family and that control system um, um, be free men okay and what ends up happening is this this very thing that initially represented freedom becomes the controller becomes that re becomes the matrix and it's all to do with just man's greed you know man, man turned this thing into a a negative thing okay not that all aspects of it are negative right now but there are a lot of negative aspects and if you don't believe there are some negative aspects to this thing then you've got your head in the clouds and you're in cloud cuckoo land basically anyway we got the chair sitting here, the throne. You know, right now, right at the start of this, look, this that this is empty, okay? <laughs> there is no man on the throne, okay? And you can pick some numbers out of this. This is maybe a four, maybe a forty-two, because I just count up legs and the back um of the chair as well. So we've got the two up here and the four legs, we've got a forty-two, which is forty-two years is right now I guess that's my um, where I'm at on what I think the whole cycle is from start to finish from 2001 to um, 2043 okay so with that being said um, let's move on a little bit I'm just gonna try and click through this she's gonna kinda come out from behind the this thing and she's dressed up in um, what I would say um, the Virgin Mary colors the blue and the white that those type of colors to do with the fiction okay and she's got the little tiara princesses crown on okay so this is she is the the fiction and she is you know intertwined with the flag here okay so we know these things right um if we can get out of here okay and here she comes out okay so we've got that connection with the flag and her now now we'll keep going through this um like i said i can't really decode every little portion of this video because this would actually this it's only a four minute video but this is going to take at least half an hour and i don't want it to be too long 
Okay, if we look at the taxi here, we got we, we've got some numbers starting to pop up, and we're going to be looking at actually just the figures in in a lot of these, just the people and the way they're standing. So anyway, this guy we've got a one reference here. I believe this down under his hand here is a nine as a nine one. So we have a nineteen reference, but more importantly at the top here we have a an X and a one. Okay, so X being ten and this add on the one here. So we've got a, um, potentially our first ten eleven reference here. Okay, um, let's move on. Let's just keep going through it. Okay, here's our next little scene. Um, again, we're going to see a lot of this sort of this twin thing going on in here as well. You know these two characters on each side of the like the the mother here the mother would be the o and here we go with a one and a one this would be an eleven and a zero okay or it could be a one just based on actual bodies this could be a one and a um a, and an eleven but you know i'm I'm kind of looking at the way clothes are falling and I'm kind of looking at the way people are placing arms on here and what I'm getting right here is a zero not to mention she's the mother so she would rep be the zero she would be the O and here would be the 11 the twins okay so this is going to be ongoing through this thing we've got Madonna doing all kinds of like poses here with the with the T in her arms flailing out okay just you know you have to kind of look at what's going on in both sides of the thing here okay next scene again we've got a one here and a zero I know that might be a stretch for some people I mean I don't think the zero is not a stretch but I'm calling this a one okay and this is zero so we've got a 10 reference here okay so we're gonna have lots of tens and elevens reference through here move on to here we go with an 11 reference straight away yeah Okay, I hopefully you're getting this. Okay, seeing what I'm seeing here. Again, let's move on. We've missed out two people here, and I I could try to do the five second thing. I don't know if that's too far or not. Just using my my arrow keys, but again, the way this guy's got his arms. Again, we could say this is a one one. Okay, and we could also say if so, we've got an eleven here with just the the bodies, but Let's look at the way this guy's got his arms, okay, around like this, cross kind of around, okay, so a zero, and then this guy's got his arms just hanging down, okay, so a zero and a one one. It, it, it's super subtle stuff, and some of you might be saying, well, Dan, I think you're really reaching on this right now, but if you go and look at this video, just play it through a couple of times. You know, and then we're also. I'm also going to show you some of these numbers that, some of the actual hard numbers that show up, and they're also referencing the same as what the bodies are referencing in this thing. Okay, I don't know who this character is, but it kind of reminds me of Kevin Costner in a film I can't remember. If anybody knows, you can put that in the in the comments. But here we go. We've got a two up here. Hard two. Um, let's see if I can just keep clicking on. Keep clicking on. Okay, what I've got here, I don't know. Um, some of these I don't. There are a few in here I'm like, I'm not really sure about. So I'm just doing the obvious ones like this. I'm not. I'm not overly confident about what number that should be. So we're just going to skim on past it. Okay, because there's plenty in here to not have to worry about doing every last one. Okay, okay. Got a little bit of singing going on here. We've got a sort of an X and a 1 here. We've got a 1 and these two crossed with an X. So again, the the 10 and 11. Um, again, we've got an 11 reference here. Okay, these two guys are stood in the same pose opposite one another like a mirror reflection so we've got that one one reference all right 
So we're heavily referencing elevens in here, and for sure. Okay. <laughs> I don't even want to make of this. Okay, we got the the devil thing going on. Okay, we've got a one, two reference now, okay? So we're gonna see these one, the two and the one references because the eleven and the ten, if we if we reduce both of those, we're gonna get a one, two, okay? I apologize I have to do it like this, but I just can't be bothered with like the the copyright nonsense. Anything here, Dan? Not really. We've got the twenty. Keep an eye out for this the twenty showing up. The twenty shows up three or four times in here. Um, there's our two again, or the twenty. Let me explain something about the twenty, okay? Because I was explaining something that somebody put a comment on. It was on one of um, Finnis Temporis's videos again, um, and the guy had said something like, "In Dutch, twenty is." twin tig or something like that and I put yeah I mean I I don't know how many people look at the like the the, the word play with numbers and stuff but if you look at um, 20 like twin T's the twin T's yeah and if you call the T 10 because because the cross the T is actually balanced, yeah? So the T is a 1 and a 0 because 10 is balanced, yeah? It's the O, the vesica Pisces, with the, the, the physical, the physical man. So the 10 represents the completion of the cycle. It represents balance, yeah? Because you've gone through that whole first cycle. You're back to the start. So... <laughs> Not only have we got two tens, but twin t's. Yeah, twin t is the, the the two t's, and again t is twenty in the alphabet. Okay, so you can see, you know, um, how twenty is really important. Um, what was I say about um, about the twenty? Somebody had mentioned about Tuesday being a, you know, the twin day as well. You know, choose and twins and just the way the English language has changed. Um, it's pretty interesting anyway. But the, the twin T's, okay, the TT, again. And then again, that encodes 2-2 two, two again. So we kind of, you kind of go back round and 2 as well with T-W-O and T W I N. So I don't know. It's it's all you know the the twenty and the two tens because two tens is going to be in front of our ten ten date will be in front of ten eleven. Okay, super important. Uh, it's about understanding a message ten ten received understood. I think that's what ten ten is. Okay, or was that ten four? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, somebody can correct me. Waffling, wiffly waffling now, Dan. Okay, let's keep getting through this. Come on. Because I don't know why, but oh, a bunch of these I don't really want to do. Here we go. That's an interesting one. Here, with the, here we go. This is more like it. Okay, so we've got the 20 reference again here. Okay, and then let's look at these, these firemen and how they're posed again. Okay. We've got these two that are slightly further over away from this one here. These two have got a, these two have both got black helmets and their um, breathing apparatus. These two are mirrored, okay? They're, you know, they're both in the same position, these two, okay? And the the arm here and the arm here and that other arm's probably coming down underneath this one. These are a mirror, so we've got an 11 going on. And then this guy's standing out he's different okay he's got a yellow helmet his, his breathing apparatus is further down and he's just a little bit further away from these two okay so we have a one here okay <sighs> so if you can see what I'm seeing you know we've got an 11 and a one by itself you know we can make this our 10 
we can add in a zero wherever we want to add a zero but this is the point you know this is the the three bars but we're encoding an 11 here and a, maybe a 10 here and of course we got this 20 again okay keep going down keep going hopefully you're kind of seeing what I'm seeing now that was actually a good one to show people because um, some of them I will say some of this stuff in here is not easy at all and I will have to play a little bit of this video at the end oh, I could do without these dancing bits ok I don't really have anything for this and I might try to get rid of some of this again here we go you know the 1 1 and could we reference a 0 here and another 0 um, you could say that's an 8 so that's a, a 1 1 8 you could say that's a a 10 reference and a 10 reference or just even just an 11 reference because they're both the same ah ok so let's carry on carry on carry on and here we go again we've just got 1 and 1 here ok so lots of like couples and there's a, a couple of like gay couples in here as well so we've got like the again with the twins referencing the same you know if we're not doing a mirror image we're doing the same gender together yeah okay so I mean it's it's pretty subtle stuff um, what else I got here and she's not I don't know if she's sat in that seat yet but she's kind of hovering around it you know what I mean um, don't know what we got there I don't really count that up but we've kind of got the twins going on here again with these two in separate frames similar looking um, just a slightly different color um, whatever you call that thing fuzzy thing same black hair okay. Here's another one here. Here's a triple goddess reference here. <clears throat> You've got the kind of the, the coppery color of Venus over here. I don't know if I'd <laughs> I don't know if I'd call her Venus, but we've got we've got the kind of coppery colours of Venus here. And then we've got the, the pearl moon here, you know, the white and the pearls of the the the, the regular moon, and then we've got the old crony here. Uh the the black pearl over here okay so we've got the triple goddess um, and again showing something to be birthed okay um, but I you know I mean um, I don't really know what to say about that um, this is I kind of well I, I mean I don't want to sound um, <laughs> like uh, rude or um, oh I don't know like um, unsensitive insensitive I don't know what the word is but I don't want to sound like a, a, a complete jerk here but um, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man just comes to me on this you know and this is the this is what the matrix becomes okay the destructor okay the destroyer I don't know you know make of that what you will okay okay um carry on carry on okay don't really know what we're doing there and if you see anything in here you can go ahead and chuck it in the comments uh, again you know we've got this this gas cylinder here we've got the old boy sat down we've got kind of a four reference going on a one four reference and we've also got the the ten going on right here as well you know with the one and this zero here okay of the seat of the bar stall seat okay so I mean I don't know you know where do you want to draw the line at what numbers you're going to pick out um we've got this tattoo here i believe that's a 115 so we've got our you know we've got a reference to our um saturn to our 511 
remember on the 5th of November and also to our corresponding 155 um, number in the dollar bill as well so you know tons of stuff here here we go again with the I don't know I got these two guys are facing one another okay right and I've got this guy by himself again I don't know if that makes sense to you this guy's face on this it's just the posing of these people you know even though they're doing different things with their arms this guy's facing this guy this guy's facing on forwards okay again with the 11 and the, and the separate one here you know these two guys are about the same height here this guy's just a little bit shorter okay and then we're holding ones and zeros here as well I don't know here we've got maybe another four or seven here you know I mean I don't know what you want it's just so subtle the stuff in here okay again we're on the bike the one eight kid riding the bike look at the colors the blue and the white again it's a running theme through here and she's finally sitting on that seat I think okay maybe I'm sure she sits on it there somewhere and again here we go with these two here um, gay couple and we've got again this is a this is a one one because we've got same sex together okay um, let's see what else we've got with these two back this tattoo here okay oh not to mention the stars as well but this tattoo lucky what is the lucky I'm going to show you what the lucky is right now okay this is the lucky <laughs> this is the double cross of Lorraine chart that I keep going on about this is Lucas numbers running across along here okay so this is the luck and it forms the key to explaining some of this stuff we'll come on to this in just a minute but here's you know like the um, I don't know what you call that um, on a key the little bits that stick out on the end of it if you look at an old key okay you kind of have the circle at one end and then the two little uh, or two or three or four little pieces that all kind of the teeth I guess you'd call them I don't know anyway back to this okay great we've got these we've got these smooch in here and I'll say one thing about this this uh, the gay thing okay um, I mean I'm all for people just do whatever you want to do as long as you're not harming somebody else right if you if you want to be gay that's fine by me do whatever but this is something that I'm um, trying to deal with myself is the idea of what you put out into the world is what the world ends up being you know just think of the world as a big can I'm not gonna say trash can but think of it as a big container and you fill that thing up with um, you know your actions and your doings and the way you want to be um, when you fill that thing up with goodness the world becomes good when you fill it up with junk it does become a trash can okay not to say there's anything wrong with loving whoever you want to love but in the natural order of things this is not natural okay this the species does not perpetuate with this all right and it doesn't perpetuate with two guys either it doesn't matter <laughs> which way around you do it it doesn't perpetuate it only perpetuates with the one and the zero together okay but what they're referencing here is an 11 all right and actually there's another number that's referenced here and in fact this was one of the days that I kind of half picked out for Madonna's death which was um, the one three here which is interesting that we have the reference to Lucky um, I don't I think Lucky Star was her first I want to say Lucky Star was her maybe it wasn't her first single um, it may have been her second I'm not sure but anyway but again with this Lucky okay 
I don't know. This is a 1 3. We've got the flux capacitor on our back, and we've got the 1 here. Okay, so I don't know. That was a date that I picked out. I'll show you it in the, in the chart of Lorraine real quick. Okay, because it's right here. Okay, and why would you pick out that day? Um, because if you go to, let's just go to this and I'll show you what that day is. Uh, October the 3rd is another 8-9 day, like what the Queen died on. And if we come up here, this is not very far off, but 8-9 right here, this is the changeover from, this year at least, from Virgo to Libra. Okay, the Virgin Mary to Libra. Okay, and the I guess I mean, if you just look at the way a scale, if you were just to stand with your arms out like a cross, okay, that's the same as the weighing scales. Yeah, hang a little basket off each arm, and you become the weighing scales, right? So we have like this between. The Virgin Mary and Christ here, okay. Interesting that it's well, it's not very far off. I mean, where does that switch over? I'm not exactly sure what hour of the day that switches, but if you go 12 o'clock, okay, we would be going from this would be the death here on 99 into the, the, the rebirth here. So we've got this number referenced again, the 98. And we've got the 8-9 on the 3rd. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but that was one of the days that I maybe thought, now well, that's a possibility for, for Madonna's death. And actually, if we go to the chart real quick, I'll show you something in here. Um, and I've got it in paint, so let's go to paint. But we're gonna, I'm going to show you this cross that's in here, this um, cross, the, the Great Scott, that I call it, the cross of St. Andrew. And... I'm going to show you some numbers that surround that thing, but let's not forget, this was another option here, which was actually would have been today, uh, 10, 10, 2, okay, simply because it, it comes out on, it's in this column here with the 86 in the same column, yeah, it is the 8, there is a 6 in the column, there's an 8, 6 in the column, 2, 2, 2 is super significant, this, this total for this column is super significant right here, so again, it's this is another one of these days. And in fact, pretty much from the 23rd on, any day would have probably worked for being encoded in here for Madonna's death. Um, just looking backwards right here, yeah, we've got, um, if you read these numbers backwards here, so don't ignore that one there, but 9, 2, 8. So the 28th of September was in there along with her birthday right here up and down um ah oh, the 26th was in here and i'll explain the 26th in a minute um but that that falls within here as well you have to do some adding to get that number um so there's several different numbers in here that could have worked um i've resisted from doing another video on it um but I'm doing this one now because I really wanted to do this um, American Pie decode. And there's another decode that I want to do as well, which is the uh, jump decode. Because that video is at plum loaded as well. Um, so there's a heads up. Try watch that video before I do the decode. You probably spot most of the stuff in it. Um, so anyway, that was another option. The 3rd of, the 3rd of October would have been a good option for Madonna's death just because we've almost referenced three different versions of the the Virgin Mary um, type situation within several days of one another in fact I haven't counted the days between but you know again that could be interesting so with that being said let's just go on to this real quick and I'll just show you um, why this 8-9 is significant while well, I was just talking about the 8-9 there because yeah you remember we did the Queen decode and the 8-9 right here of her death and then a burial here and then 
um, the 911 event ties in with her birthday being the twin date for her birthday. So all of this ties with the Queen very nicely. And of course, if we're going to re-reference that, we're going to be looking at this 8-9, okay? And we've got a version of 8-9 here, which is 86. We'll flip it. And again, that's in this column here. Okay, but it also shows up right here, right? 6-8. I want you to be aware of that. Okay, so this 8-9, the 6-8 shows up all over the place. There's another place where it shows up and it's right here in this cross okay here's the eight nine i hope you can still see this i had to draw that in there so we could sort of focus in on it but there's our eight nine with the 11 in the center okay so our eight a nine and our eight right here and those two things fall between a seven here and a seven here so the 77 is on each side of these things okay because the 77 is important because we are going um, our 10 11 day our October the 11th is this year is 7700 days um, from the 2001 9 11 day okay so that's why that's important okay the other thing to say about this as well this um, What's going on here with this cross is we had the the Georgia Guidestones, didn't we? And I said, look, it looks like this leg was the one that was um, blown up right here. And if we add up um, our two three and our five three, we're going to get to seventy um, seventy six. This number right here, and that was kind of heavily encoded with the Georgia Guidestones. It was the day as well, okay, that that happened on. So this 76 was heavily encoded with that thing. And 7 times 6 is 42. And 42 is our overall time period, I think. Um, so we'd have from 9-11 through to um, November the 10th, um, 2043 is our 42 year jump it's actually 42 years and 60 days okay so that number 42 years and 60 days um 42 years i don't know if you can see this coming over the top of here i'm trying to write it right there and six days okay gosh 426 is double 213 okay this is why 213 I think is so significant um, in terms of 7700 days is because we're going um, 21 years and 30 days to our October date and I believe that's the end of the war in terms of Odysseus the 10 years of war and then we've got the 10 year journey back to God now which is going to be again 21 years 30 days again so that's going to be the kind of enlightenment um, journey, I guess, what you'd call it. Um, if that, if you can follow what I'm equating there, okay? So instead of doing 10 years like Odysseus, we're doing 21 years, 30 days, and then we're doing another 10 years, uh, which is actually 21 years and 30 days again. So we end up with 42 years, 60 days. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. So this is why 42 is so important. So every time you see a 24 stuck somewhere, again, it's a possible 42 reference. Uh, what else to say? There are a couple of other sevens here. We've got this seven here and this seven over here with the 70, uh, with the 47 here. And if you add up the 11, 18, 29, and the four right here before we get to the seven, that gives us our 26 reference, yeah? 26, that's the date when all this stuff kind of kicked off with old Kobe. Interesting, again, with the with the crosses here, like the helicopter blades. <laughs> I mean, it's just nuts. Um, there is a couple of other 77s in here. Um, the one thing to remember is that this... There's um, an L-shaped 77 here as well, 
we start at 7 and we can look at all these numbers down and these numbers across okay and the reason why we do that is because this 713 comes down and this 713 comes this way it makes us L so we've got some reference numbers in here for something I don't know what exactly but um, what was the other 77 that was in here I think that was it really um, really the main one is this one coming across and we've got the 98 between these two numbers okay so this 98 now is now referencing to this is referencing again to 11 and it's also referencing to a 77 okay and our 77 I believe is the 7700 days between events okay um, I'm sure I've forgotten something there oh yeah that was it there is a 77 right here as well and again the 77 here okay with the 47 and the 76 that gives us a um, a 64 or 46 reference to go along with that which happens to be Madonna's age this year 64 and also if we go up our columns here we're back in the 8 and the 9 again okay with the 77 reference so it is it's absolutely pretty amazing the way this stuff ties together anyway enough waffle on that um, so we have some good tie-ins again to Madonna is what I'm saying with this stuff um, possible dates for her to go to the island with you know Bowie and Prince and all the rest of them um, where do I want to go to let's let's carry on getting through this video because otherwise I'm never gonna get this done okay um, let's click through come on down come on, come on, come on just pay attention to the colors the whites the blacks the blues okay and the grays as well um, all colors to do with the fiction okay I mean there's probably something to this I haven't had time to really just sit I didn't really want to spend hours like um, breaking this stuff oh dear okay we got the gay boys now so um, <laughs> oh dear yeah there's nothing wrong with it apart from what you put out there is what the world is going to be okay the world is a reflection of what we put into it so if you put unbalanced things if we display if we push that into the I want the common collective consciousness of what we're dealing with you know everything you know, stuff's going to become more and more unbalanced okay this is what you know what what I was going to get on to earlier was I'm, I'm dealing with this myself in like when I put a video out I've made a conscious decision not to try not to swear and cuss in a video because this video is going out into the broader world and I don't really want to you know I cuss like a sailor at home and everything which I shouldn't but um, and some people say well it's just a word Dan it doesn't mean anything well everything does have meaning okay and okay you've got to prescribe that meaning but you know there's a large majority of people that prescribe a negative um, thing to those to cuss words okay and depending on the context they can be quite negative so rather than put that out there you know I make a conscious decision to you know not let that stuff into the the broader spectrum of the world okay, if that makes sense to people okay it's the same with like I'm sure there's always been a large proportion of homosexual people but back in the olden days people didn't broadcast that into the world people probably were a little bit closer to nature back then and you know and the values that people had were probably more attached to sort of uh, biblical values right and again the Bible even if you don't realize is all to do with uh, nature and the way reality works through natural law and all that kind of stuff so you know I think I hopefully you get what I'm saying here you know I got nothing against uh, what people want to do in their private lives but you know when you throw that stuff into the world it's going to change what the world is okay here we go again again with this 
look at the, the, the 11 here, we've got these two guys posed the same, same color hat. We got even we've even got this little life uh, preserver thing here with a one one and a zero with the hat one one and a zero with the hat. These two are forming the eleven because they're posed the same. Okay, and this guy's the odd man out on the end here. You know, okay, we got the obvious thing is a different color, but he's got a, like a red life preserver in his um, hat. I don't know if his hat's a slightly different color or not. Can't really tell from this. Let's go back a little bit. Well, it's a different kind of hat, that's for sure. I think. I think it's a a full broom hat. But anyway, it looks like it's a similar similar color actually. Um, but he's got you know a white outfit. He's, he's posed to be separate. Okay, and hopefully people can see that, right? So again, we've got the eleven and the ten reference going on here. Okay, it's just all the way through this video, really. Um, what we're going to do there, two and a one, you know, and a, again, a two, the two children and what looks to be like the, maybe the father. Um, so again, with the two and the one. So it's all the way through, this two one, these two one references. I've covered quite a bit in this video, actually. Bloody Madonna, dancing. Uh, anything here? I don't know what you know. I don't think there was that much more interest. Oh yeah, we've got a bunch more hard numbers. What I call them now. Okay, this stuff here. Okay, here's our eight seven, right? Our eight seven is our um, murder death kill one eight seven murder death kill number. Okay, then we happen to have Madonna's age next to it right here 64 okay what's interesting we have this seven if we go to the seven column in the in the chart again uh, where's the chart at? if we go to the seven column in the chart we, we're referencing a 13 here now okay along with her uh, the 78 here again uh, okay go back to this down um, 65, that is a reference again to the two, um, kind of flip backwards and forwards here. 65 and the 62, let's do those two. Well, we already did the 62, that's 26. That's those numbers between the, the two sevens again. Um, we've got the 76 back here, which we just talked about. I believe this is, I don't know if that's a 73 or a 33 behind here, it doesn't really matter. Um, the 68, okay, the, the 9, 8, again, here's our 5, 1 reference, which we just talked about, um, I'm not sure what this is behind here, is it a 20, I'm not sure, they probably move around, you can probably see it, I'm not, let's have a look, see if they do move a little bit, I don't know if that's a 30 or a 20 reference, but either way, those two numbers are pretty, here we go, this guy, the 68, the 98, the 89 is picked out, okay? So we've got, the <laughs> you know, this is the number they pick out, okay? And we even have a bit of the 5 there as well. So but this is the number they pick out for our, again, death date, death ritual, whatever. Death date of the matrix, shall we just call it that? Okay, what else we got going on here? Um, cheerleaders, okay, come on, I don't know, I haven't, I guess I could have counted up how many cheerleaders there were, okay, this character here, he, uh, again with the gay thing, um, he plays, this is out of, a, this, I think that this is in um, a film called uh, The Next Best Thing, with Madonna and this guy, Everett. I think his name's Rupert Everett. Um, again, he's sitting in the chair, and who's on the lap? There we go, the Matrix. Okay. Um, he plays a gay guy, and they end up having a baby together, basically, because she can't get a a man. Um, it's probably the film's probably loaded. 
watch the film again. We got two guys. We got the two guys stood separate, and the one, uh, sorry, the two guys, yeah, separated from the one guy over here, and we've got, you know, again, zeros referencing here, you know. I mean, I don't know how many times we can re-reference the same bits and bobs here. Again. Twins again. Yeah. These two are look alike. Okay, so two. <laughs> You know what I mean? And what's this? I don't know. Two separate ones. Again with the hands joined on the one here and the two hands, two arms coming down on the side. I mean it's just it, it's just the way these people are posed. We've got this guy in the background here on the phone. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What else we got? Was there anything else interesting in it? There were a couple of other, there's some even more elevens at the bottom, back end of this, as they go, as we cut out. I'm missing some of them, of course, as I click through. So, um, I'm going to play this end little bit here. This is kind of crazy, this little end bit, because he was, she was jumping up and down on his lap. <laughs> and he makes some some faces it's something you'd have to just go and watch and think about for yourself what's going on there and um, I'll give you two clues what what I think they're referencing um, two guesses well, I'm not going to say what it is but she is pulling up her jeans here she's making a point about these jeans again look at the jeans okay we've got the two legs covered in zeros Okay, I don't know if you can make them out. Okay, and she's pulling them up, and we have a reference to the crack at the back here. Her ass crack, a plumber's crack. The crack where we come from, the plumbing, yeah. It's all pipe work down there, you know, your pipe work. People call it the... That's your plumbing. And so, <laughs> that's where we're coming from. Okay, she's pulling up these... Gee, I'm going to play this last little bit, so you, hopefully you'll be able to hear this, okay? Let's see. So she's she's pulling up, making a real fuss about this. Okay, why make her such a fuss about this? And get ready for this. Now, did you hear that? They put that tear in there, like the the jeans were ripping. Okay, and if it could be a very very subtle hint, because if those jeans were Levi's, and in fact the jean is the genie as well, <laughs> you know. Um, the Jenny is the Jean, is the Genie, is the Le the pair of Levi's that she may be wearing, yeah, the Levy, and then we have a tear, we have a break with the with the, the the tearing sound there. Why would you even put that in there? Why would you even have that crap on the end of the film with her yanking her jeans up? It's there for a reason to tell a story. Okay, um, I'm going to leave it there for this video. I don't think there's anything else I want to cover. I'll have to do the jump video separate because I'm really tired, as you can probably tell, because um, I'm kind of I'm not flowing as good as well as good as I normally as good as I normally flow. I don't know if that sounds right, but <laughs> you know, you can tell probably that I'm tired. Um, so anyway, I'm going to leave it there for that one. Pretty interesting, maybe some more references to Madonna's death. The only reason why I keep going on about it is because it just makes logical sense that that metaphor would be placed in, into the reality. Okay, that the metaphor of the Matrix dying again would be placed. Okay, especially as it seems to me like this thing is very, very this rebirth thing I guess from the perspective of being in America it seems highly American highly I don't know it just seems to be more intense in America okay I'll leave it at that um, catch you on the next one cheers alright bye